It is time. It is finally the time that we get to show off the brand new map here on Call of the Wild, the Angler. We are going to be taking a look at Aguas Claras, the brand new Spain Reserve. Hopefully I said that right. This is a early access build that has been provided to me by the developers of the game. Let's go ahead and line up this photo. There we go. We've started a brand new mission, the King's Path. But yeah, as I was saying, this build has been provided to me by the developers, so it has a bunch of XP and tokens and currency and stuff on it so that I can show off this map in as good of a way as possible to really give you guys an idea of what you can expect while fishing here. I will be doing my best to try and not show any mission spoilers, so I'm going to try and make sure that I keep all mission related stuff out of this video because I know quite a few of you enjoy seeing the missions for the first time yourselves and don't want to see any spoilers on it early. So we're going to keep away from all mission related stuff and just have fun fishing, try to find some good locations and try to catch every single new fish species on this map. You know, something that was mentioned in the EW livestream that they did last Wednesday was that as you find the collectibles, they're actually going to get placed on this table right here. And like in this general area, I believe they called this the restaurant. And so that's going to be really, really cool. It's going to be nice to see what they managed to do with that. I imagine that by the end of collecting all the collectibles and stuff, you're going to have a pretty cool display over here, but we will have to find out as we progress. I'm probably not going to do that in the early access build. We will save that for when we actually get to the uh, the full release of this. Now, unfortunately, I don't see any new items in the shop, so I don't think we have access to those cool rods that Jaxy Beard showed off in the live streams. Uh, we just started a mission by doing that, so we're gonna avoid doing that mission, but you guys at least know that you get one from going there now. So I think we're gonna probably start by going up north and exploring this part of the map. I'm not really sure what we can expect to find there, uh, I want to go throughout the entire map before the end of this video just so we can get an idea of where all the fish are located. Also, in case I forgot to mention it, we will not get to keep any of the progress from this early access. Uh, once the early access is done, we'll be back on our main account and we will be starting our journey on Spain all over again. And obviously, this is to ensure that we're not ahead of everybody else when the uh, map finally launches. We get to show it off early to you guys, but I'm not going to have any progress saved. Well, our first fish... <laughs> of the brand new map appears to be the smallest fish that you could possibly catch. Oh, man. We are starting things off with a bang. And, oh my gosh, I've never seen the tension meter that low. <laughs> oh my gosh. I... I don't know what to say. 0 0.06 as our very first fish. That is ridiculous. <laughs> that is so crazy. An Andalusian barbel or Andalusian, Andalusian. One of those. And we got it off of a blood worm. And it's literally the tiniest fish in existence. And man, look at the new trophy shop mode. That is really, really cool. And as you guys see, it's now nighttime. I uh, finally set up the like Apex Connect account and stuff, so I was able to get into multiplayer with all the other content creators because I wasn't really catching any fish, and I'm wondering if it was because I wasn't connected to Apex Connect. I've had issues with that before, so I decided to get it connected, and now everything should be working just fine. Now, one thing that I would say about this trophy shop mode that I would love the developers to potentially tweak if they could is allow us to use the scroll wheel to zoom in and out or whatever the equivalent control would be on console and then also give us an option to like hit W A S or I guess that moves the character like this but make it so that like the W and S key like raise the camera up or lower it down because D and A turn you to the left and right so it makes sense that W and S would either raise the camera or lower it so that is the feedback that I would give about the trophy shot mode as of now I feel like that could really improve it by a ton I gotta say so far this map is one of the most insanely beautiful maps to drive through just like all the scenery as we go off the road, all the scenery that I have seen so far is just beautiful. Just absolutely stunning. They really outdid themselves in terms of like the visual look of the map. Wait a second. I see eels. Oh my gosh. We've got eels in this spot right here. 
So we are currently right here on the map. If you guys want to go get some eels, it looks like this is an area that has them. I'm hoping that some of the surrounding areas do as well, but I think we got to try and catch one of these. There we go. He's going for it. Our very first eel. Let's see how big this guy ends up being. This is one of those fish that I was the most excited to go for with this brand new map. The eel and then also the common carp and the mirror carp. I'm super excited to chase after. So I think we're going to primarily target them. That eel is massive. Look at that thing. That is so cool. That is a silver 5.79 pound eel. Look at that thing. He just looks so sick. I think this might be the coolest catch screen for any fish as well. Just the way the eel is flopping around and that, that just looks so awesome. I see a fish over there that appears to be some kind of carp or maybe that's a rud. I, I don't know which one it is. It looks like it actually might be a rud. But I just threw out a blood worm with a size 8 hook. Hopefully this is going to be a new fish. It definitely looks like it's one of the new fish. Question is, is it a carp or is it a rud? And there we go. We got him. What are you? Let's see. It is a rud. That is a rud. 2.79 pound rud. So we've now caught three of the brand new fish species. And all of them look really good so far. I think still the eel is definitely my favorite. Uh, to be fair, we only got like a really tiny Andalusian barbel. So hopefully we can get a better one in the future. Looks like we have another fish going for it. And what are you going to be? That is looking like maybe another rud. Yeah, it's another rud. Another little bronze rud. So I'm pretty sure that we have both a Prussian carp and a uh, pumpkin seed in the area that that looks like them at least and it seems like the little crusion is going for it you see the cool thing about the crusion carps is they've got a little bit of a different uh, shape to their body than the other carps so it is a little bit easier to figure out which one of them is going for it like this little guy right here i immediately knew by the shape that it was a crusion carp having caught crusion carp in a ton of different uh, fishing games it just had that crusion carp look and it does there that is a crusion carp love to see it you know catching these things really brings back memories from the old real fishing games on the playstation 1 and the playstation 2 along with a few other fishing games from that era as well that always used to have the crusion carp i remember back then it was a fish that literally everywhere i would go on any of those games there'd be crusion carp there and I've, at one point I got tired of seeing them, but nowadays it just brings back nostalgia seeing these things in a video game. Okay, that is kind of cool. We've got some trees that are actually like in the water. You know, I don't know if this is intended or not, but it looks cool and I feel like we got to stop and fish here. That looks really, really cool. How some of the trees are just kind of like in the water a little bit. I'm assuming it's an intended thing because they do this on... Uh, the hunter call the wild occasionally with maps like Tiabaroa having a couple trees that are in the water. There we go. We got a fish on. Is that a Xander? I think that's a Xander. Yeah, that is definitely a Xander. So this is the first uh, reused fish that we have actually caught today. A bronze Xander, 8.32 pounds. I don't know how big these, these things got before, but it seems about normal. Well, I cast out at this spot, and I immediately see that we've got ourselves some company. That looks like a big old carp. The question is, is that a mirror carp, or is that a common carp? I'm going to put my boat on mirror carp, based on what I'm seeing right now. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh my, oh my gosh. Holy crap, the amount of strength that thing has. I had to crank it up to 80% just to get it to stop running and and it's still going a little bit can i crank it up anymore i'm gonna go to 95 and see if that's good enough let's hope oh my gosh even at 95 what about 100 so my fear is that if it runs it's gonna snap the line because i'm at 100 percent drag no 
Maybe not. Okay, so we can keep it at 100% it seems. Man, that was crazy. That thing immediately just took off with it. The amount of strength that this carp has is insane. I cannot wait until we get bottom fishing in the game since we know that that's eventually going to be coming. It's going to make the carp fishing like even better. Already this feels like a ton of fun off of first uh, first attempt here. And that is a 23 pound silver common carp. Look, 23 pounds is a silver. These things are going to get massive if a silver is 23 pounds. Also, I want to note that was on a one-aught hook. A silver bit a one-aught hook. So I guess we're going to up it to a two-aught and see if we can catch something even bigger. And if any of you are curious where I caught that, it was right up here. So we fished a good bit of areas now. We fished along this river a little bit. We fished over in this area. We fished over in this area. Now we're up here and we're hoping to catch a giant carp. Oh my gosh. That looks massive. This is the first thing that has bit the three-aught hook. That looks huge. Oh my gosh. Yep, that's huge. I don't know if this is a big silver or if it's a gold or maybe even a diamond, but oh my gosh, it's ripping line out. I'm a 95% drag with the level 100 rod and the level 90 reel. And holy crap, I just, I, I can't keep up with it. What about 100%? Okay, so I can put it to 100% and it's not breaking it. Oh, there we go. That's... Okay, so we're not going to do 100% drag then. We're just going to kind of feather it and hope that this works out in our favor. It's got us up to 200 feet. This is ridiculous. We're already out to 200 feet. We're just going to have to try and do as much rod pumping as we can. Try to get some ground on this guy this is a crazy fish fight this is an absolutely crazy fish fight i swear if i pull this up and it's only a silver then we're all in trouble i mean it's kind of just staying at 200 feet so maybe it's not going to run too much farther it, it stops at about like 205 210 then we gain some ground on it and then it once again just rips line out I mean, we're down to 190 and back out to 200. Yeah, we're at kind of a stalemate now. Kind of a stalemate. We're going to try and pull the rod this way a little bit and then gain some ground on it. Yeah, goes to 185 and back out to 205. Oh, man. All right, so we've got it down to 163, which is definitely way better than where we had it previously. It's still running here and there, but... We're definitely gaining some ground on it. I think as long as I keep pulling the rod back like that and then whipping it forward, we're gaining a little bit of ground on him, but still not a ton. Well, we're at 138, so we're again making some progress, but it's uh, it's coming in very slow. I don't see this guy coming in anytime soon. I got a feeling this is very much going to be like a Big Larry type of situation where we're going to be waiting Probably 15, maybe 20 minutes to get him fully in in total. Now, maybe a little bit less, but you get what I mean. It's, it's it's a really tough fight, and it does feel a lot like fighting Big Larry over on Golden Ridge. And I see another massive carp to my right. Oh, man. There is carp all over this spot. Okay, I think this fish has gave up. It's coming in very easily now. So hopefully that means that he's done running. Right as I say that, he gives us a little bit of resistance, but I, I think he's coming in now. I definitely think that he is. There he is. Oh my gosh, look at him. And his final run. No. <laughs> so close. I think that was his final little burst of speed, though. Let's see. Is this a big silver? Is this a gold? Is this a diamond? What will it be? We may never find out as he keeps running. Or swimming, or... I mean, we call it running, but it's really just swimming fast away. Oh my gosh, he's so huge! He is so massive! Come on, don't swim away anymore. Give me a chance to secure the catch.
Come on. I have never had so much trouble getting a fish to give me the secure catch. What is this? It's a 45 pound gold. Are you telling me I had that much trouble reeling in a gold? What are the diamonds going to be like? That is ridiculous. <laughs> and this isn't even on like the best tackle that you can get from the souvenir shop. This is on the level 100 reward rod and the level 90 reward reel, which are better than what you can get from the souvenir shop. So the majority of us, including me on my main account, are going to struggle a lot. This is crazy. This is absolutely crazy. We 100% need some better tackle to take on these carp right here. But at the same time, I'm really happy to see that they can get this big. I was hoping that we'd be able to catch just massive carp. And if 45 pounds is gold, then I don't even, I, I can't even imagine what diamond is going to max out at. Well, we're going to toss that three odd hook with cheese out again and see if we can get another big one. If I don't get another one within like 10 or 15 minutes, I'll probably move on and try to catch some other fish though, because there's still so many fish species that we have not been able to see yet. Literally three minutes later, we have another massive carp going for the cheese. The question is, is it as big as the last one or is this guy going to be smaller or is he going to be larger? On first glance, he looks smaller than the other one. But I guess we'll see. Ah, he's definitely smaller than the last one. So I guess we'll find out how big he is once we get him in. But he does not seem to be nearly as large as that giant 45 pound gold. Let's just crank this guy in. It shouldn't take too long and we'll see what size he is. I'm going to guess he's in between the last two that we caught. Because he's fighting decently hard, but not as hard as that last one. All right, I think we've almost got him in. Is this another common carp? It is. So we got another common carp. He doesn't seem nearly as big as the last one. Wow, he's actually our smallest one of the day at 21.58 pounds. So that means three odd is not a golden above hook. I thought it was because the only bite that I got on that one was that gold until now. I went probably like seven or eight minutes with no bites and then had that giant gold bite. But I assumed that three ought was going to be the golden above hook. I guess not. Does that mean we're going to have to go clear up to a four ought to guarantee golden above? And does that also mean that we're not going to be able to use a diamond only hook for carp? That's crazy. You know, I forgot to say this after I was done catching those carp, but this is the location that I was catching them. I was standing like right here ish and that's where we caught that gold carp so we are now at a location that jaxie beard showed off during the ew stream there's a little power station right there and then we've got a dam that has actually been busted through by a tree it looks like and you got the water flowing down it you got the river below you got the uh calmer river above this looks really really good i i think there's no arguing that this is the most visually appealing uh reserve in the entire game this, it looks so good compared to a lot of the stuff that we've seen on Norway and Golden Ridge. Like, they've really started to refine their level design. Oh my gosh, this is just so incredible. I mean, I know we saw a lot of this on the EW stream the other day, but I just, it, it, seeing it in person is completely a different experience. And that right there is the tunnel right there where they were fishing essentially in a cave for fish here on Spain. I am really excited to get in there. I think we're going to save that for a different video though. I want to dedicate an entire video to cave fishing because I, I do think that's going to be a lot of fun, but there's so much to do that I don't know if I can do everything in one video. So we're going to save that for another day. I think we may finally have a mullet going for it. I don't know why, but this entire time I've had a lot of trouble getting them to bite anything. I've seen so many of them during this hour and a half that I've been fishing, but I just haven't been able to get any of them to bite, and I can't figure out why. But that right there is a bronze one. That bit of size 9 hook with a blood worm. I wonder if maybe the size 7 hook that I've been using was just a little bit too big for them. Either way, we got our first uh, thin lip mullet, 1.09 pounds. Well, it's looking like we might have a very, very slow pumpkin seed coming over to our bait. 
which will be a new fish for us. We have not caught a pumpkin seed today. Now the question is, how long are we going to have to wait for him to swim over here? They might be one of the slowest moving fish in the entire game. That is wild. Well, eventually he managed to get over here. Now, let's see how big he is. It doesn't look very big. I'm assuming that's probably going to be like bronze, maybe silver. But we will find out. And yeah, that's a bronze .38. So he's not big, but that is our first pumpkin seed sunfish. You'll love to see it. My gosh, this map just continues to amaze me with how beautiful it is. Look at these insane, like, uh, cliff edges in this canyon. This is just crazy looking. And oh my gosh, it gets better. That looks, oh gosh, that looks to be some kind of bridge. I wonder if we can get in there. I feel like we've got to be able to get in there, right? I guess we'll find out eventually. Though, even if we can't get in there, this is looking crazy. I see some stairs right there along the cliffside. I think it's time that we go follow those. Wow, this is incredible. This is so pretty. Like I was saying, I just... I can't even put into words how crazy this is compared to a lot of the other the scenery that we've got in the existing two maps in the game. This is just crazy incredible looking. And it looks like we've got a photo mission here. Yeah. Take a photo of a Tajo Del Rey Hugo. Okay. That's pretty cool. Actually, now that I think of it, I think it's pronounced a Tajo because I believe it is Spanish. So I think it is a Tajo, not a Tajo, like I said. Holy crap, we can go so high up on this. And there's there's uh, stairs and walkways down there as well. But this is incredible. The fact that we can go all the way up here is amazing. I cannot wait to see what this view is about to look like. It's looking pretty insane. Wow. I'm just at a loss for words. This is just, this is just stunning looking. Well done to the devs. This is incredible. Whoever designed the layout of this map and the landmarks of it did a phenomenal job. This is truly just breathtaking. Like everything about this is just phenomenal looking. It's just so incredible looking. So we're now approaching two hours of playing around for this uh, first look video, so I think I'm unfortunately going to have to cut this short before we catch every single fish species. We've only caught like half of them. So I think what we're going to have to do is uh, come back in another video and continue this adventure and try to catch the rest of the remaining fish that we did not get today. Uh, to be honest, I didn't think I'd be just roaming the map as much as I am and not doing nearly as much fishing as I have. We've been able to catch a few nice fish, but I've spent most of my time just roaming this map and seeing all of the beautiful scenery. But I appreciate all of you watching this video. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing as well as uh, leaving a comment down below letting me know what you think of Spain. I am really impressed with the visual quality of it. I really enjoyed that carp fight as well. Uh, it's hard to say what I'll think of this map as a whole until I get a little more playtime in it, but First impressions are good for sure. It, it definitely seems like it's going to be the best map they've ever put out. But thank you all for watching so much, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace!